Hey everyone and welcome back to WP Glob. In today's video, we're going to learn how you can create a pop-up that will prevent your website visitors from leaving your website. So if you're ready, let's dive right into it. Before delving deep into our today's topic, I'd like to mention that we are using Kali's managed hosting for seamless WordPress experience. And Kali's makes managing cloud hosting effortless for developers, for businesses and agencies. Um, but today I would like to mention something that truly sets them apart and is their unmet scalability and performance optimization. Imagine running a site that's going really fast, whether it's an e-commerce store or a blog or a web app, no difference. Scaling up can be a headache, but with Cloudways, it's seamless. Their platform lets you increase your resources with just a few clicks, no downtime, no complicated processes. And as for the performance, Cloudways ensures top-notch speed with features like built-in CDN integration, optimized caching for varnish, memcached and Redis, and dedicated PHP servers for faster execution. All of this works behind the scenes so your users get an ultra-fast experience and we are focused on what matters the most, growing your business. Plus, Cloudways provides advanced monitoring tools so you can track your site's performance in real time and make adjustments as needed. And if you ever run into issues, your 24 7 expert support team is there to help you. So whether you are scaling up to meet demand or optimizing your existing setup, Cloudways gives you the tools to stay ahead. Now, let's dive into today's topic. To create a pop-up, we are going to use the pop-up box plugin by Ice Protein and let's immediately proceed to creating one together. Okay, so to create a pop-up, simply click on this Add New button. And the first thing that will appear on your screen is choosing your pop-up type. And here you can see we have so many options to choose from, so you'll definitely uh, find something that matches your current needs. So we have custom content, shortcut, video, image, Facebook notifications, subscription, yes or no, coupon, contact form. Great, I'm gonna choose the shortcut option. And here we can also choose our pop-up template. We have default, red, modern, yellowish, and so many other options to choose from again. I'm gonna stick to this default one because I'm gonna work on that. Okay, now we appeared in this general uh, section and here we will need to fill in some general information, basic information. Okay, so this is our pop-up title and I'm gonna um, write it as your feedback is important to us um, because actually I'm gonna make a customer experience pop-up how well they feel with our customer support so I'm gonna uh, fill in this title um, here we will need to make it uh, on so that it actually works on our website and here it says shortcut and now you might be wondering what shortcut what have we done well, that's why we're going to use the poll plugin, uh, again, by the Ice Pro team. So let's head to poll. And here I have created a very simple poll. Um, it's, again, about the, the experience. How's your experience been with us so far? And it's excellent, not really good choices. Um, so that's why we're going to polls. And here you can see we have a shortcut here. And we're simply copying this uh, and going back and pasting it here. Great, so we have it here. Here you can write a pop-up description if you need. I'm gonna skip it this time. Here, the display. You can choose where you want to display your pop-up. You can choose to display it on all your pages or you can choose to display on all your pages except a couple of pages or only include a couple of pages. I'm gonna choose all pages. Pop-up trigger, this is one of the most important parts. What you want to actually target with your pop-up. Um, so here, let's go over a couple of uh, options to uh, discuss it. Uh, so on page load, while your page is loading, on click when they want to click on a certain button, um, on one of your call to action buttons, uh, on page load and on click, so there's two options together, on hoover, when they are hovering over a button but they are not clicking, exit intent, this is a great one. And that's what I'm going to choose right now. So whenever they are trying to exit and hit this X button, it's going to appear there. And for that, we can also choose a pop-up position. And I'm going to choose this middle one. I think 
that's the first thing that when they go to do that and it appears in the center, they will rethink their choices. Um, great, and here you can also choose pop-up margin if you need. Uh, and let's save and close this for now. Great, and it's already working there. So let's head to our front end. And as you can see, because I hover over here, that's why it's working. Let's also, I'm gonna reload this. And I'm gonna, oh, you see, I, I went over to close it and it immediately appeared this. Okay, I'm gonna choose excellent and vote. That's great. Well, that's it about the pop-up box plugin by IcePro. And if you've still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time and have the greatest day. Bye-bye.